What's up guys welcome back to yet another video of custom room as we know most users aren't happy with the performance and the bugs present on Oxygen OS 12 mainly for OnePlus 9 series so today we have a great custom room which can be used as daily driver on your any OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro so in this video let's quickly take a look at that room and we'll find out how stable it is to be used as daily driver so without wasting any more time let's get started so here you can see I have my OnePlus 9 on which I am running that custom room called Paranoid Android. If you guys aren't aware about Paranoid Android, this room is known basically for its stability, better performance and a great battery life. So here you can see Android version is Android 12, Paranoid Android version is Beta 1. Initially Paranoid Android we had alpha builds and now they have moved to beta builds and even on beta this is one of the best room which i have ever used on my oneplus 9 it comes with 5th feb 2022 security patch and for the installation i'll update the guide in description below and before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video and we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channels but they do watch our videos so if you find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video and another thing which i forgot to mention on this custom room which is paranoid android now on this beta build we get arter 97 kernel and these are the benchmark results on my oneplus 9 running paranoid android with single core device have scored 1086 and with multi core device have scored 3628 a way better benchmark results compared to Oxygen OS 12 without using high performance mode. With Android 2 benchmark application, my OnePlus 9 have scored almost 8 lakhs and scores are 7,92,158. We also ran CPU throttling test wherein we saw a bit of dips in the graph and the max CPU throttled up to 73%. But overall animations, everything seems to be really good on this custom room called Paranoid Android. I personally feel way better animation compared to Oxygen OS 12. And Oxygen OS 12, still we have lot many issues related to notifications, but that's not the case on Paranoid Android. You get all the options like you can directly reply from notifications itself. On Oxygen OS 12 also we can do that, but most of the times user face the issue as I don't have any screenshots here, but whenever they receive any notification, for example, let's take WhatsApp, they just get to see a new message from WhatsApp and they can't find more details until unless they open the message. So first let's clear out all the basic functionalities. As you can see here, no issues with the calling stuff. Volte services works fine along with the Wi-Fi calling. So let me show you once again, as you can see here, you can easily make calls using Wi-Fi calling. Alert slider does its job pretty well. You won't find any kind of issues with the monet. Soon you change the wallpaper, the system adapts to the wallpaper color. We have perfectly working Bluetooth. By default on Paranoid Android, you will find Go Google camera present, but you can anytime install the ported Google camera applications. You also get an application called abstract where you have lot many wallpapers, but you can download the wallpapers when you have pro version of this. And another good thing what you guys gonna notice on this room is Widewind security level is L1 by default if you're coming from Oxygen OS. And device also passes through safety net check so you won't have any kind of issues using payment applications. Both the Wi-Fi bands works perfectly fine, 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz. And if you guys aren't aware, Paranoid Android doesn't come with much of customization options. So if you are the one who looks for more customization options, then you guys gonna miss those things on Paranoid Android. Dark theme is pretty much pitch dark, so you won't feel that grayish color when you turn on dark mode or dark theme. We also have an option of smooth display where the device can automatically adjust between 60Hz and 120Hz. So here you'll find the monet stuff under wallpaper and style sections from where you can enable themed icon and also change the app grid size. Roam comes with its own launcher which is paranoid launcher. We do have stuff like double tap gestures and all these gestures works as expected. 100 mode works fine. We do have this three finger swipe for screenshot. Also all other gestures works pretty much fine like double tap to wake as you can see here. For security part, we can only use things like pattern, pin, password or fingerprint. So let's try setting fingerprint and see how does it perform. And here you can see while setting up the fingerprint, the alignment is not that good, but that doesn't matter. And the circle which basically displays how many times more we need to tap on fingerprint scanner to register a finger, that also gets completely filled with the one tap. So here we just have to wait and watch when we get the pop-up of fingerprint registered. 
so here you can see and now let's try to unlock the device and there are no issues unlocking the device device is unlocking at similar speed how we get to see on oxygen os 12 or you can see oxygen os 11 and here on this custom room there are drawbacks like this is the first custom room where i don't get to see 90 fps support in games like battlegrounds mobile india so as you can see here graphics are set to smooth and extreme we don't get the 90 fps option and when it comes to gaming we also don't get the gaming dashboard from android 12 so these two things I personally feel should have been implemented on this current build of Paranoid Android. But with 60 FPS, I did not see any kind of issues with the gaming part. The ROM can easily handle 60 FPS of gameplay. So guys, there's nothing much to showcase on this ROM because we don't have much of customization options. But overall, a great ROM to be used as daily driver. If you can compromise on things like 90 FPS in Battlegrounds Mobile India, then you can anytime use this ROM as a daily driver on your OnePlus 9 series. Or this ROM is also present for many other smartphones. I'll leave all the download links of supported devices in the description below. You guys can just check out them and install it on your device. For me, it's a great alternative for Oxygen OS 12 until and unless they fix the major issue of notifications. I know that doesn't appear all the time, but most of the times, yes, even I do face issues with the notification stuff. So guys, this was a quick look on Paranoid Android for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. If you guys try this room, then do let me know how is the performance compared to Oxygen OS 12. So as of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.